on the last night of Jesus' earthly ministry, that Holy Thursday, which we celebrate tomorrow evening, Jesus does something that is scandalous. Jesus washes his disciples' feet, a role that was reserved for servants. Hello everyone, I'm Matt Sergeant, and I'm the pastor of Andrew Chapel, United Methodist Church in Vienna, Virginia. And I wanna welcome you today to Wednesday's Word. Yes, it's amazing, isn't it? How Jesus took on that role of the servant, washing his disciples' feet. You know, God has put Jesus in charge of all things, and yet he takes on that role of a servant. Wow, it's amazing, isn't it? And it's amazing because he's aware that Judas and Peter and all the others that night that were in the room with him, his disciples, would fail him in his very darkest hour. And yet he loves them still and demonstrates that act of love by washing their feet. You know, loving as Jesus loves means taking on the role of a servant by caring for the needs of others without expecting anything at all in return. Jesus shows us how we are to serve one another, even when they don't treat us well, even when they may disappoint us, even when they may betray us. Now, the question I have that I've thought an awful lot about is, does Jesus really expect us to serve people who disappoint us, who harm us or maybe even betray us? I mean, are there no exceptions to servanthood? I think the answer lies right here, that loving one another doesn't mean we have to have affection for others. It just means that we are to act in loving ways, even when we would rather not. That's what Jesus did, knowing what was going to happen to him. He loved his disciples still, and he loves you. Even when we disappoint our Lord, he loves us still. You know, we may never achieve God's perfect love, but we can let go of grudges and respond to beautiful behavior even when things can be hurtful, when we show loving kindness to others. I hope you have a great rest of the week. I hope you're in a prayerful attitude during this holy season of Holy Week. And I do hope that you will join us on Thursday evening, either by live stream or in person tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Take care and God bless you.